Today we are installing a mods rear flip seat kit for a club car precedent and onward. Here are the parts included with your kit for the installation. These are the tools we'll be using today. To start off this build, we are going to remove the front seat back. It's held in place by two bolts behind the top portion of the seat inside the sweater basket. Once you have those bolts removed, we will simply lift the seat back off of the car. Next, we are going to remove the rear uprights. We are going to remove the bolts that are connecting the uprights to the sun top. We will now remove the bolt on the inside of the sweater basket. They are located on the left and right sides. Once you have removed the two inner bolts, remove the four bolts holding the sweater basket in place, starting with the two located at the back side of the sweater basket. Then move to the two in front located under the front seat back that we removed earlier. Once the bolts are removed, we can start to disassemble the uprights and the sweater basket. We will now place a support to hold up the sun top. Once you have your support in place, lift up and remove the sweater basket. Now we will be removing the inner frame of the sweater basket. They are held down by a bolt in the back. Once we have the bolts removed, you can remove the frame. We will now be installing the new trees where the inner frame was located. We will be reusing the bolts that were holding the inner frame in place. Be sure that the lower tab is pointing inwards. We are only installing the rearmost bolt. We will be leaving the front unbolted to make adjustments later. Next, we will be installing the seat back brackets. Be sure that you have the panel with the square face facing the rear of the car and the bracket on the inside of the tree. Using the two supplied carriage bolts, connect the bracket to the tree. Be sure to leave the bolts from here on out finger tight until the whole seat kit is assembled. Next, we will be installing the down supports. Now let's drill out the two furthest bailing holes to go all the way through the cart. Use a 3 8 drill bit to drill out the holes shown here. Once you have the holes drilled, we will be installing the down supports. Be sure to have the down support leaning out toward the back of the cart. Underneath the cart, we will be bolting the foot plate bracket. Be sure to leave the assembly loose for adjustments. With the down supports installed, we will now be installing the seat frame. Start by laying the seat frame on the back of the cart. Slide the down supports into the slots that are under the seat frame. Next, we will be bolting the seat frame to the trees. Once you have the two points bolted, we are going to bolt the down supports to the seat frame with carriage bolts. Next, we are going to install the arm rails. Align the rails so the long end is towards the back of the cart. We will then proceed to bolt the arm rails to the seat frame. Be sure to use a carriage bolt on the rear. Again, leave the assembly loose as we will be going through and tightening the bolts once the whole flip seat is assembled. Now we will install the floor plate.
Start with the supplied bracket and wrap it around the lower part of the arm rail. Then slide the floor plate into position and bolt the assembly together. Repeat this on the other side. Once you have both sides connected, bolt the floor plate to the second connection on the floor bracket. Be sure to attach the top rearmost bolt in the slot shown here. Next, we are going to go under the floor plate and attach the foot plate bracket to the outermost hole in the foot plate. We will now be installing the flip seat. Start by placing it into position. Next, we will run a bolt with a washer from the outside. Then install the plastic washer in between the seat frame and the flip seat. Once you have the bolt through, install a washer and nut to hold the assembly together. Then repeat this step on the other side. Next, we will be installing the flip seat seat back. You will align the two holes on the seat back with the bracket that is part of the tree. Once you have the two holes in position, go ahead and secure them with a bolt. Then repeat this step on the other side. Once you have the rear flip seat installed, we will now reinstall the seat back. For the main seat back, we are going to place it into position and reinstall it using the same hardware we initially took out. Once you have the rear seat back installed, we are going to replace the two bolts in the front of the tree to hold it in place. Next, we are going to be reinstalling the rear uprights. You are first going to align the hole of the tree to the holes of the upright and bolt them into place. Then repeat this step on the other side. Once the trees are connected to the upright, we are going to reattach the sun top to the rear uprights with the same hardware we initially removed. We will now go through and tighten the kit all together. We are going to be tightening all the bolts, starting at the bottom and working our way up. Once you have your kit tightened into place, you are now finished with the installation of your new mod's rear seat kit. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.